Friends and family are mourning the death of a 22-year-old South Daytona woman. Police say it appears Lonnie Amber Turner's ex-boyfriend shot and killed her before turning the gun on himself. News 13, Stephanie Quinn, is joining us now. And Stephanie, you actually spoke with the victim's friends and family. They said he was not taking the breakup well. Yeah, you know, we Beth Amber's friends say even after she told him to stay away, he would call her, text her mean messages, and even show up unannounced at her apartment. Behavior domestic abuse experts say it can often be the first sign of trouble. You can never be hit and have it go straight from emotional abuse and, and economic abuse, the power and control, to a homicide without ever there being a fist raised in anger. As the CEO of Harbor House, a safe haven for domestic abuse victims, Carol Wick has heard hundreds of stories, many of them from women who didn't even realize the danger they were in. If you feel like you're in any way not safe with a person, you need to listen to that voice. The number one thing that victims tell us is, I never thought he would go this far. Monday, the body of Lonnie Amber Turner and her ex-boyfriend, Aaron Ross, were found inside a Port Orange motel. Sunday, we spoke with friends about Ross's reaction to the breakup. He's just desperate is basically the problem. Police say a judge denied Turner's request for a restraining order, but had set a hearing for this Friday. One possible reason for denying the injunction, Turner did not have enough evidence her life was on the line. You have to show that you are in imminent danger of being beaten seriously injured. Now, while the majority of injunctions do work, they can make an abuser even more upset to the point where they snap. It intensifies the, the danger that she's in, and she's more likely to be either killed or seriously harmed. Langston says a judge must hear a case at most 15 days after the injunction is filed. The court has to notify both parties. You have to understand that both individuals have certain rights. Now, even if you're not in an abusive relationship, experts say it's always a good idea to have a safety plan. How would you escape a dangerous person? Where would you go? How would you get to a foe? Now, experts suggest making a plan for places like your home and work. Experts also say 98% of all victims never spoke with a domestic abuse advocate. So if you do know someone who is in a bad relationship, call a hotline and hand the phone over to your loved ones. They say the most important thing is to talk with someone and let them know what's going on. We also have a lot more information on where you can get help, the help hotline number, and how to file an injunction. You can just log on to our website, cfnews13.com. Ebeth. News 13, Stephanie Quinn, you reporting.